in this session we are going to study about the anastomosis uh, of arteries around the scapula and there are many questions asked about this anastomosis uh, which is present over the body and that of the acromion of the scapula and we are going to study in this uh, video about the mnemonics to remember uh, the anastomosis around the scapula so coming to the subclavian artery uh, it is divided uh, into three parts uh, from the first part arises the three branches that mnemonic is VID that is vitamin C and D from the first part arises the three branches that is the VIT that is the vertical artery and the thoracic artery and harris one the uh, then from the second part arises vitamin C that is C goes to cervical artery and from the third part arises the third branch that is the dorsal scapular artery uh, little bit deep is uh, harris the drum further divided into three again main arteries uh, to remember those branches remember the mnemonic that is said so the scapular artery and the thyroid artery and the transverse cervical artery and this first part of subclavian artery uh, of thyroid cervical trunk branches are important uh, arteries which take part around take part in the anastomosis around the scapula so coming to the continuation of the subclavian artery was the outside effect of the first trip of the axillary artery. We to study the branches of the axillary artery, remember that pectoral is minor, divides the axillary artery into three parts. Proximal part is first part, behind the pectoral is minor muscle is the second part of that of digital to it is the third part. From first part arises as the mnemonic is tall of so. So as that is superior or axic artery is from the first two parts. TA that is thoracoacromial artery and lateral thoracic artery are from the second part uh, and SOAP that is uh, subscapular artery, anterior circumflex humeral artery and posterior circumflex humeral artery. These three branches are from the third part. Now why I have written as a SOAP to remember that subscapular artery is the branch arising from axillary while that of suprascapular artery is a branch uh, which is arising from the subclavian artery. So, so is the sub sub subscapular artery. Something we have to do. So, coming to the anastomosis of the scapula, they are mainly present on the body part of the scapula and that of uh, acromion process of the scapula. Coming to the body part of anastomosis, it is mainly formed by suprascapular artery and the transverse cervical artery. If you remember, this arises from the thyroid cervical trunk part of first part of the subclavian artery and that of the circumflex humeral artery which arises from the third part of the axillary artery and secondly over the anastomosis over the acromion process it is mainly by the suprascapular artery uh, which is uh, uh, which arises from the first part of subclavian that is from the thyroid cervical trunk and that another are the branches from axillary artery that is the acromion branch of the thoracoacromial artery and the ascending branch of the posterior circumflex artery. Now these are some of the questions which are asked around uh, which are asked in the entrance exam about the anastomosis around the scapular artery. The first question is uh, asked in the all India 2014. So the question says that anastomosis around the shoulder uh, is a connection of now just now I said if we we'll go back to slide uh, where the flow charts have been mentioned, you will clearly see that the anastomosis are from subclavian and axillary, that is that we know. But from which part of subclavian? It is from the first part. From first part, we said that there are three arteries which are arises that is vitamin. Uh, from vitamin T stand for thyroid cervical, and from thyroid cervical, from the mnemonic is said, so press capital and transverse cervical. So, this is the first part of subclavian artery, and the third part. As per axillary artery is a soap that is subscapular, anterior circumflex humeral, posterior so, so, the answer for first question is B, that is from the first part of the subclavian artery and the third part of the axillary Coming to the second question, and this question is asked in the read exam 1230. So, all other arteries, all arteries are involved in anastomosis around scapular axillary. So, circumflex scapular artery is something which is from the third part of axillary artery. Suprascapillary is something which arises from the first part of subclavian artery and the transverse cervical artery is something which arises from the first part of subclavian. So infrascapillary is something which is not present and do not arise either from the subclavian or the axillary artery. 
So the answer for the second question is C. That is interesting. If you found it interesting and informative, please like the video, share it, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.